This conference well, will now be recorded. Well, welcome, um, everyone, and thank you for listening in to and reading our newsletter. Um, I'm Helen Reilly, the chair of the City Council, and in light of um, the guilty verdict of um, Derek Chauvin a week ago, I thought it would be um, helpful or interesting for the public to hear from our, our only person of color elected to any position in the city of South Burlington. So I've invited Dr. Travia Childs to um, share with us some of her perspectives. So she currently, as you I'm sure well are well aware, is um, one of our new uh, school board members, and thank you for doing that. <laughs> um, and so let's start, and thank you for agreeing to do this, um, Dr. Childs. So my first question is, um, what was your initial reaction to the results of the guilty verdict of murder and manslaughter of um, Derek Chauvin? I was happy, and then I became sad because my thoughts were, they kept saying appeal in it. We don't know what's gonna happen. And I know they found them, um, I know they found them guilty, but it's so much going around saying they might appeal it, they might throw it out. So I don't know. But in the beginning, I was happy because it seemed like we had finally won. But now you're hearing other things, and I think that's my major concern. Is it really over? Okay. So a week later, how has your thinking evolved? I thought about a lot of stuff that has happened in my life recently. And so it made me think about it. Is it really okay? Will this really change anything? You know, will I still be, because I'm to the point where I always tell my son, you know, keep your hands on the steering wheel or put them out of the window. And I have that same mindset now. I don't know if they're going to try to retaliate. I just don't know what's going to happen. So as time passes, I think I'm being, I'm starting to have more anxiety. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, so what do you, um, how, how do you think these guilty verdicts affect um, South Burlington and the state of Vermont and, you know, the biggest picture of the United States? What should we be doing? I think as a resident of South Burlington, it's a lot to be, be to be done and that but we really won't have to talk about it no one wants to talk about it but see i'm the type of person if you want to know about me or, or how i am please ask but it seems like sometimes we are not we but some of the administrators in the city are not going straight to what it is we don't talk about it but now that i'm on the board i'm forcing them to talk about it in the communities mm -hmm. because i'm on i try to participate because i want them to know i'm going to hold you accountable things have to change. And recently, well, not recently, it was a, with my campaign and it was a lot of racism. And mm -hmm. so right now we're, I'm trying to say, well, we start with the kids and let teach the kids to get along. They can bring that home to their parents. But sometimes I have to be quiet and that's not me, but I'm protecting someone. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing. So South Burlington, I think we can grow together if people want to sit down and really listen to what it is. Because even in South Burlington with the cops here and all the things they're doing, it's scary. Okay. And with, with Vermont, overall with Vermont, I think it's going to be harder because people don't believe it's currently happening. People say, mm -hmm. oh, no, that doesn't happen in Vermont. Yes, it does. In your same neighborhood. And that's the issue. We always want to say, oh, this isn't happening. I just lost your sound. No. Okay, can you hear me? Now I can. Now I can. Okay. I have no idea what happened. But you, my where you is left that, off is you said that in Vermont, people don't think it's here or it's not happening right. here. Right, because people want to believe we're liberal, but all in all, it's happening in South Burlington. It happened with me on the campaign, racist mm -hmm. information. And my thing is, 
all we can do is be accountable to South Burlington, and then we can spread it out to Vermont. And with the nation, I don't know if it's going to really change anything. Mm -hmm. Unless for everybody that does this stuff to be tried and, you know, be convicted of it. So I don't know. It's hard to say. I wish I could tell you, oh, it's going to be wonderful, but it's not. Yeah. Because we're still going through it. Okay. So um, it sounds like you would like our community, whether you start with the kids or um, parent teacher organizations or public meetings or some kind of gathering where people really do talk about racism in South Burlington and think about what can we do? Maybe just as personal. Is that fair enough to say would be the starting point in your opinion? Yes, it would be. And I and I was saying the students because they have to learn to deal with each other and they're more open minded. And my thing is the students take it back home and talk to their parents about certain things. But see, I'm not offended by anything you ask me. If you say, hey, why, you know, why is your hair like that? Or what? Talk to me because we want to tell you so you can understand who we are or what we like doing. Great. Okay. Any other thoughts you might have? I'm afraid for my son. And Mm -hmm. that's just the truth. You know, Mm -hmm. and because, you know, when he's six foot tall and when he goes outside, he was running. I was afraid. I'm telling him, oh, every time I tell him, please let me know every place you get to. No, don't run through a neighborhood because I just don't know. And that's the scary part. Sure. I'm afraid. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I, you know, as a parent, that uh, really hits me right in the <laughs> the gut to have that for you to have to have that feeling about your son. How terrible! So I hope that um, as a community, we can have some conversations and see if people can become a little more thoughtful or understanding of um, where this is coming from and and how they might change their attitudes or um, activities even. So thank you very much for sharing your thoughts. You're welcome. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.